In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the OEM hitch receiver on a third generation Toyota Tacoma. Uh, mine is a 2016 and the hitch receiver is all rusted out. Um, in order to do this, you actually have to remove the whole bumper. And once you've got the bumper off, then you can kind of pull all the pieces off of the hitch receiver and then reinstall them onto the new hitch receiver and then put the whole assembly back on. So let me turn the camera around here and I'll show you all the rust that I'm dealing with here, which is the whole reason for this um, hitch receiver replacement. As you can see, there's quite a bit of rust damage here. It uh, makes me pretty nervous to tow anything with the hitch receiver looking like this. The rest of the frame has absolutely no rust on it. So I can only assume that the previous owner probably pulled a boat or something like that and this hitch, you know, was constantly being dipped into salt water. That's my guess. But there's a bunch of bolts we have to take out here. You can see them there. Two more there. And then we're, we're gonna have to get to uh, these bolts here once we pull the whole bumper assembly off. We'll get to those because they are under this trim piece here. There's also some wiring harnesses we're going to have to disconnect. So I'll show you how to do all that. I think this would typically be a two-person job um, because once we get all those bolts taken out, it's going to be, you're going to have to kind of lift up on this whole assembly to get it out. And it's pretty heavy and just kind of awkward to deal with. But um, I'm by myself today, so we're going to figure it out. The first thing you want to do is disconnect the three wiring harnesses. Uh, I have a light bar on my bumper, so um, yours probably won't look like this. This is an added adapter to make the light bar work, so typically this is going in right here. So you'd want to disconnect it from here, but I'll be disconnecting it from here because all this harness is going to stay with the bumper. And then I've also got this one that I need to disconnect. You also will not have that and then these two up here. So to disconnect this one, you just push that button there and pull out. And this one here has a little tab here. You need to stick a flathead screwdriver right under that lip right there and then pull it out. And then you'll be disconnecting this one here. So those three, one, two, three. For me, I'll be disconnecting here, 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 and here. All right, first we're gonna disconnect these wire harnesses. some glasses when you do this because a lot of dirt and stuff drops down on you. Those two. This one. And this last one here. Stick a screwdriver in here. Can I see that clip right there? Right there. Clips right over that piece there. Okay, all our wiring harnesses are disconnected. So now we can take the bolts out of the bumper and then we should be free to pull this whole bumper assembly off. All right, we're gonna start by removing these five bolts on both sides. They are 17 millimeter. I'm gonna use a breaker bar just to get them loose and then I'll use my impact wrench to finish taking them out.
All right, now we'll just repeat that process on the other side. Uh, you don't have to worry about the bumper falling or anything like that. There's two uh, pins that stick out on the sides. So we're actually gonna have to lift the whole bumper up in order to get it out. Since I'm working on this by myself, I'm gonna use this jack here to just slightly lift the whole bumper assembly up. And um, by doing that, you can't see it, but right here, there's a pin that goes into the frame. And so you can't pull this bumper out unless you lift this whole bumper assembly up so that the pin is past the frame and then you can slide it out. So that's what we're gonna use the jack to do. I've got the jack centered directly under that hitch. So hopefully the weight is balanced properly when I pull it out. Try jacking it up from each side and try to pull each side out separately. There we go. All right, that side's loose. Seems to be loose now. I'm gonna try and pull it out. All right, it's out. We'll just lower it, lower the jack slowly. Okay, so it can be done with one person. Just a lot harder. Whew. Now that the bumper's off, we can get a really good look at that rust damage. That's some of the worst I've ever seen. So, definitely the right move to replace this whole thing. Got these two bolts that need to come off. Those are 12 millimeter. I'm going to need to remove this here as well as these in order to pull this whole plastic piece off. So start by removing this. There's some clips here. They both need to be pushed in. These lights are a little tricky to get out. Take like a pry tool and just slide it in the side. There's some clips on either side. Just go really easy. You can even push from the back. There's a wiring harness. out you can take this clip off here just push on that little gray tab now it's just a matter of pulling up on this trim piece here until all the clips release so just take your time with this part
You're gonna want to be careful because the uh, backup sensors are on here, right here, and over on this side. So um, just when you lift it up, don't lift it all the way. There's little uh, connectors on the back that you need to take off in order to not damage the backup sensors. I don't think I'm even gonna mess with those uh, backup sensor clips. I don't wanna break them and they're not coming loose. So I think I can just leave this as is and remove all these bolts here and this will get uh, this side of the bumper trim removed from the hitch receiver. These are all 12 millimeter. It's actually just those two. I don't think I need to touch any of these other ones. Same on the other side. There's two more right here. One here and one here. All right, this should all separate now. Go ahead and get rid of this old hitch here. So to make this a little easier, I'm going to try installing the new hitch receiver before I put this all on because I have a feeling I can reattach all this with the hitch receiver on the truck. I wasn't sure if I could do it from the get-go, but let's try doing it. Just test out that theory. I picked up this hitch receiver on eBay. It's OEM. It is used, but it is in really, really good shape. So um, definitely a lot cheaper going that route rather than buying a brand new one from Toyota. I'll put the part number for this in the description. Might need a hammer for this. You can see those safety pins are in their slots now. Now you can get an idea of what we were dealing with earlier when we had the jack here. There's the other side. If we go down here, you can see all the holes where the bolts go. They're all lining up nicely. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and bolt this in and then we'll start getting all the trim pieces reattached. Just kind of want to wiggle it to make sure that it's where it needs to be. There's really not much play once you have all the bolts in. So I think I'm just going to tighten it right where it is. I'm just going to check with my breaker bars to make sure those are snug. Don't want to go too tight. Just make sure they're snugged up. Same thing on the other side. All right, all the bolts are tightened down. So 
Now we are going to lift up the rest of this bumper assembly. Gonna have to get all this harness on top. I'm just gonna finger tighten these bolts just so nothing moves. I think I've got it right where it needs to be. Just remember, it's just the two bolts on each side, plus the two in the middle. That looks good. I think everything's lined up. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten it down. This bolt in the back, you'll need to use a socket wrench on because there's not enough clearance to get the impact wrench back there. Just fish these little license plate light connectors. Make sure they're coming through the holes. back in. This part just snaps in and then you'll have to um, attach the harness from the back. Okay, all the harnesses are reconnected. So the last thing we have to do is install a couple more bolts. There's two here and uh, two in the same spot down the other end. And that will finish uh, attaching this whole bumper trim assembly to the uh, hitch receiver. One of the reasons I made this video is because I searched YouTube before I started this project and I didn't find any videos that really showed this whole this whole uh, process from start to finish. There was a lot of people that were installing aftermarket hitch receivers on trucks that they had that didn't come with a hitch receiver, but um, I didn't see anyone removing an OEM uh, hitch receiver and reinstalling a new one. So hopefully this helps out anyone that's searching for uh, this process. All right, we are wrapped up with this project. Uh, if this video helped you at all, please give it a thumbs up and uh, 
feel free to leave a comment below. I always like responding to comments and answering questions. Um, also, if you'd subscribe to the channel, that would be awesome. That way you won't miss out on any new content that we post. And uh, hopefully this helps you out if you do a project like this on your Tacoma. As you can see, no more rust. It's not a brand new hitch receiver, but for 2016, I'm pretty happy with this. So I am confident to tow a trailer or a boat without having to worry about it now. I'll see you guys on the next video.